What's up guys, Average Tech Guy here and today we are back with another review. Now, we know iPad OS is coming out. We got that. That's a given. iPad or Apple, should I say, has been able to sell you different models of iPad, whether it be 64 gigs, 32 gigs, 128 gigs, 256 gigs, 512 gigs. They've been able to sell you whatever at whatever price because people are willing to pay for that larger amount of storage. But with iPad OS, you're now going to be able to expand your storage past those limits. So what am I talking about? This. This is a 500 gigabyte hard drive from Samsung. Yes, I'm doing a Samsung product inside of an Apple video. <laughs> Let's check it out. So the Samsung portable SSD, this is a T5, T5, 500 gigs of hard drive right here in this USB type C capable. We got fast storage. We got fast uploads. We got fast downloads. And this is it. This is a very minimalistic device, but it's going to get you where you're going. Now, at Best Buy, you can get these anywhere from 89 to 100 bucks, depending on if you can catch one on sale or not. Regular price for this is going to be about 100 bucks, though, guys. So get ready to pay out that money. I'm saying go out and get you the, the lowest tier iPad. They're all going to do the exact same thing and then pick up one of these. Hard drive doesn't have to be Samsung. It can be any type of hard drive, but I just prefer USB type C. Now this is not the only USB type C hard drive out there. Let me just go ahead and get that out of the way. There are tons out there, but I like the form factor on this. I like that I can just shove this right down in my pocket and hardly even realize that it's there. Plus it comes with USB C to C and USB A to C. So whether you're you leave one of these at home and you have to have a, a USB adapter to go with it like this one, or whether you just have this and you just plug it directly into the iPad. It doesn't matter. You're gonna be set. To show you how this works, all you're gonna do now is plug this in. If I can find the plug over here, I'm gonna scoop this up. Now, it's gonna be hanging off just like that. But what I'm going to do now is activate my mouse. I'm gonna find my files. All that says loading, let's just open up the app down here. And there we can see Samsung T5 right here in the corner is now accessible. So all of our memory, anything that we have, we can now access that. We can now watch that media on this device. I'm going to down the screen so you can see it. But this is it. Everything that I have, my videos from my DJI cameras, uh, any movies that I have, uh, anything my archive videos that I put on YouTube, everything that I want is right here. Now we got movies right there. Uh, I got my daughter in here. I got some copyright stuff in here because I don't want to play anything and get in trouble. But um, basically movies, files, whatever you have. Now you put it on this card. You're on a long trip. You got everything on the go. Now let's say that you actually want to bring a file over though. So how does that work? You are going to take that file. So I'm going to just do one of my DJI videos. This is just some random stuff I was shooting. Now select that. I'm going to select that. And that down at the bottom, it's going to give you options. You can duplicate, you can share, you can move, you can delete, you can get more. Uh, say you want to move it. It's going to ask you choose your new location. Where do you want to move it to? I want to move it to this iPad. Where do I want to put it at in this iPad? So on the iPad, you're just gonna hit copy. Once you put copy, click back on my iPad, and boom, there it goes. Wanna see that I'm telling you the truth? I'm gonna take this out. Samsung T5 disappears over here. Now, this video is on my iPad, and I'm going to be able to play it. So this is just some drone footage that I have in the backyard, and that's all this is. So I was able to take that drone footage and put it directly onto my iPad and leave it there and disconnect from over here. 
and that's pretty much it that's how this is going to work guys so let's stop this all right go back to our home screen and there we go so portable easy fast and you see how fast that went over into the ipad it just really copied it lightning quick and i was able to play it as soon as it got over there so this is going to be a great investment for you to have since you have ipad os coming out go pick you up one of these like i said you don't have to get a samsung this is just what i like this is what i like to use this is what i have right now so i'll be doing more reviews on different types of hard drives and speeds so hopefully this is able to help someone out until next time be sure and give me that thumbs up please subscribe average tech guy out peace